This is my plate and I'm getting ready to dig in. Hi, this is Pat and welcome into my kitchen. I am about to cook some pink salmon and the can that I'm using is 14.75 ounces and here it is in the bowl. I'm using green onions and yellow onions and in my bowl I have some dry seasoning and it is Tony Chatteris no salt seasoning, Creole seasoning, black pepper, parsley flakes, garlic pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I have all of this in this bowl here. Now this mixture here in this bowl that I'm going to incorporate with my um, salmon, this is, and I, by the way, I drained the can of salmon and I deboned it and de-skinned it. And I'm using right here two eggs, three tablespoons of buttermilk, six tablespoons of flour, and this is uh, all-purpose flour, and four tablespoons of cornmeal, if I didn't say that already. And I'm going to stir this uh, mixture here in the bowl with my salmon. Then I'll come back and move you to the stove and let you see what's going on there. And I'll make, I'll drop little balls in there and just kind of flatten them out a little bit as they cook. And I'm using corn oil, but you can use any oil that you like, vegetable oil. I just so happen to have the corn oil, so I'm using that. We will be back soon. Come on over to the stove and... These are some of the salmon croquettes. I'm going to take these out as soon as they brown golden on the other side. And I'll be putting more in. Okay, I'll come right back. Hi, this is Patty and this is my final presentation of my salmon croquettes. Here they are. And I am going to try one. I have one right here that I'm going to taste and tell you what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm, it is so flavorful. Full of green onion, full of yellow onion, garlic powder, garlic pepper, parsley flip. Oh my, they are so good. These are Louisiana Cajun style salmon croquettes. If you like my presentation, please subscribe and like my channel and tap the notification button or the notification bell and you will be reminded when I upload. Thank you for joining Patty's Southern Kitchen. Goodbye.